brings us to, does that bring us to SoftWave or not? It does, yes. Actually, uh, SoftWave became is, is something that I started as part of an incubator that I own that has actually in it about 15 companies that we started over the last six years. And SoftWave was one of the uh, early ones that we started when a guy came to me with an idea of using uh, a beam of ultrasound to treat what is called hypertension or high blood pressure by doing what's called renal denervation. I will not go into all the details of how you do it, but it's a really interesting endovascular device, as it is called, you know, in the area of cardiology. And I said to him, listen, what you do is very interesting, but I think we can do something much, much better with it. This is the way we started so far. Okay. And so SoftWave was born then out of your incubator, is that correct? Yes, yes, and, yes. And you're using ultrasound energy, correct? correct. What, what we are using is actually a beam of ultrasound that uh, propagates into the skin. Uh, this is done by using a special design of the transducers. And what we also do, which is really unique and we believe has lots of uh, potential in it, is we cool the each of the transducers that is, is attached or that is coupled to the skin, so it protects the upper layer of the skin. So in a way, by controlling the frequency, the power, the design of the transducer, and the cooling that the same transducer provides, we get a situation where we can cause a nicely controlled injury inside the dermis, but you don't see anything on the outside part of the skin. You don't do any damage to the epidermis. Okay. It's somewhat analogous then to radiation therapy in the way we're delivering radiation therapy to the tumor and sparing the skin. And initially we weren't you sparing the skin. You are absolutely right. So this, yes. this yes. thermal cooling, if you will, of the external epidermis, the outside of the skin, is a protectant to the ultrasound thermal energy that in the dermis. Exactly. Why don't you walk us through the way you see the energy and where it's being delivered? We said the dermis. And what we actually do in SoftWave is we create we have an array of seven transducers that are coupled to the skin. The doctor just puts it on, on the skin. When the coupling is right, you radiate the ultrasound energy. It is absorbed in the skin. The epidermis itself is protected because we cool it with the same transducer that also radiates the energy. And by choosing the frequency, the power, the geometrical dimension, we create an injury inside the dermis, which is actually a thermal injury with temperatures of 60 to 70 degrees centigrade at a depth of about 1.5 minutes. But if we are able to do it without injuring the upper layer of the epidermis, that's a good enough story. 